I will say, even when it's broken down, it still looks good. Ugh, I think, even though the tank shows there's gas, it's pretty much empty. Yep. Dave's World. I really appreciate it. If you're a current subscriber, thank you. If you're uh, new to my channel and you're checking this out for the first time, I really appreciate it. Uh, so on my channel, you're always going to find something new. I, I tend to not uh, post the same thing every time I post a video. Uh, but throughout the videos, I always have a lot of people asking about this Cobra. Um, this is a $15,000 Cobra. It's a project car that I built from the ground up. Um, I probably filmed six or seven videos on the car but i never really put them on the channel because the footage wasn't great it's a really hard car to film because it's really loud it kind of messes with the microphone and because it has no roof the wind messes with the microphone so it was, i had a really hard time getting footage so the other day i was filming the car and i got a really really great video of me driving the car unfortunately i got on it and i went around a turn and then the car broke down i had a bunch of footage from that day so i figured i'd show you a little bit of me driving the car uh, I'll show you a little bit of what happened after the car broke down and how I had to get it back to the shop and talk a little bit about, you know, what it's like owning a project car. I filmed the footage without really having an idea of what I wanted to do with it. I just filmed because I had my camera with me because I was in the middle of filming a video and I thought it might be fun to share it with you guys. I mean, that's the reason I have a YouTube channel. So I'm going to play the footage for you now. I think that day I actually filmed an ending to what happened or at least I talked about what happened. So I might use that or I might cut back to me talking now after the video is over. So. Hopefully you enjoy the footage and uh, thank you again. First drive of the year and the Cobra left me stranded. That's a light car, but it's heavy when you need to push it. Well, this is what it's like building a project car. Uh, you always have kinks you have to work out and apparently I have something going on with my fuel system. I don't know what it is, but there's something going on with it. Hopefully it's just the level is in the wrong spot, but I'll figure it out when I get back to the shop. Well, it didn't run out of gas. I think the fuel pump's the problem. Uh, I tried using two seat belts to tow the car back with my wife's truck, but uh, the seat belts split into pieces, which I learned my lesson. Don't buy cheap seat belts because if they were good seat belts, they should have worked. Uh, Luckily, I don't put my kids in the car, but uh, I'm definitely going to spend some money on some good seat belts now. Um, in case you're wondering, they weren't installed yet. They were just in the passenger seat. I'm just waiting for my wife to go get some actual rope and chain. And then we're going to try and pull this thing back. I'm literally around the corner from the shop. 
and I'm just waiting for her to come back. Wait until literally nobody's on the road. Well, just made it back. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't take the car out on the hottest day of the summer, well, at least so far. I mean, today was like 92 degrees. I was just going to my in-laws house and I figured out a way to uh, film the car and not have to deal with wind noise. And I was filming a video for the YouTube channel so you guys could see the Cobra finally. I've gotten a lot of people requesting the car and uh, I was like, oh, let me film a fun video. And then on the way back, I uh, lost, basically I lost the ability to hit the gas and then, uh, and then uh, I was like, oh, okay, so maybe something's wrong with the mass airflow sensor and I could just coast back. It just finally died and I, I thought I ran out of gas and it was uh, just running on the fuel left in the line, but um, my wife showed up, we put gas in the car. And it uh, wouldn't start and then uh, I'm guessing either the fuel system won't prime or the fuel pump went bad which is why I got stuck but uh, I don't want you guys to think that I uh, had a camera with me because I was filming a breakdown I had the camera because I was doing something else and I figured you know what why not film this it'll be kind of fun to put on the channel it's not like I can fake a breakdown but uh, yeah I mean here I'll show you the car real quick uh, the reason why I say mass airflow sensor is uh, here. Let me go on the other side. The hood prop is there. You're probably wondering why I say mass airflow sensor. If you haven't seen any other videos, it's because I have a 4.6 liter in the car. And uh, I had thought that right there, the mass airflow sensor maybe had a problem and I could just coast it on idle. I don't know what else the problem is, at least for right now, because I was standing in 90 degree weather for about two hours. And I was out there pushing the car because I broke down in front of someone's house directly in their driveway and I wanted to get someplace safe so I pushed it to a firehouse and that's when my wife came to help and uh, finally pulled the car back but uh, here we are this is the Cobra and uh, this is what it's like having a project car yep well I'm hot I'm tired and uh, I don't know if you guys are going to see this video or if I even plan on posting it up but if you do I appreciate it and I'm sorry that uh I look very exhausted because I am. So thanks again, everybody. Have a nice day.